Alright, so this will be my first video of this PBL series that I'm starting for this month. So yes, I'll be doing daily videos pretty much, or at least for the weekdays, for this month hopefully. And it will just be like one short PBL tip, like every single day. I don't think it should be that hard to make. Um, school is out, so I have a bit more time to make videos, but I'm still going to be pretty busy. But hopefully this makes uh, my channel have some kind of consistent content. I'm also planning to have like one normal video every week, so like a non-PPL video or like a PPL video that's not like part of the series. So pretty much like a video I would usually make, like a review or unboxing or whatever. Lastly for live streaming, I've tried live streaming on Sunday and that went actually pretty well. So in the comments if you can, just let me know if you prefer live streams on Sunday or Saturday. So I know like Saturday there's a lot of competitions for cubing, so that might lead to less people um, watching the stream and more people missing it. So I'm thinking Sunday might be a bit better for streaming, so just let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, one last thing, this series is pretty much going to be things that go a bit beyond my regular PBL series, so my 10 regular videos, so some things might be a bit more advanced than those, so if you want this series to actually benefit you, it's probably the best if you kind of understand the things in the previous videos. Alright, so onto the actual video. The tip is pretty simple, it's just to look ahead during EO into PBL. It's actually pretty simple. I will have a video soon coming out on my EO Alex for Square 1 that I think are a bit better for preserving PBL. But that's the first part. Use decent Alex that actually preserve a good amount of PBL. For example, this is a pretty common case. This preserves all the corners and the only visible thing pretty much is this edge will be preserved. So. After doing EO, I know that this thing will be solved, like that. So here's a different EO out for the same exact case. So from the same angle, I can actually see three edges. So I know all the corners are solved, of course, and then I know this whole block is going to be preserved, and this block as well. So changing up your EO out allows you to see a bit more and predict a bit more for PBO. So you don't use all your context clues to predict PBO. You don't want to just um, predict just the corners or whatever. You want to predict as much as possible. So for here, obviously the 1-1 one, one case preserves all corners, so that's good. But you can actually predict a bit more. So the top here is all corners, so you know it's going to be an EP case, which is always nice to know. On the bottom, it's going to be an edge case. But what's even better is that once you see this kind of pattern, this opposite pattern, you can reduce quite a bit of PBLs because this is not that common in diamond PBLs. A lot of times you can actually just intuitively guess which PLO it's going to be or like use other context clues to help you like not just this but maybe like a few other edges that might help. Once you practice this a bit more it actually becomes pretty easy to predict what you're going to get. Like for here I'm sure I'm going to get an M perm because that just a shape that only the Emperor pretty much has. And since I know like this um, EO case preserves like these blocks kind of, it's obviously not going to be a G perm, so it's not that. So, so it has to be an M perm pretty much. That actually gives me more clues because now I know this is M perm. Since I use CSP on top, it has to also be a parity case. So yeah, M perm and some kind of EP case. And you can kind of figure it out also here because I know it's going to be like an ad swap here. That is a bit advanced. You're not gonna see that much during EO, but you can see actually quite a bit of that during EO. So this kind of answers the question like, how do you like recognize PBL so fast? Or like, isn't PBL bad because recognition is bad? But you can actually predict quite a bit during EO. So yeah. So using this method, you can actually like not pause for PBL at all sometimes. Like, you get really good at predicting, and you get a pretty easy case to predict, and don't even pause for PBL, which is actually pretty fun. And you just do EO and then PBL, it kind of looks pretty cool, and also gives you a lot of fast times. So yeah, use good EO algs and predict, and PBL should be a bit better for you.